today. I'm Gary Kelly from Tauri, Australia. Sorry about the voice. I had a mouth cancer operation a short time ago and my tongue is a mess. Originally, I'm from the Big Smoke, Sydney, which is a great town and I really enjoy living there. But I also like living in the country. It's a lot more relaxed, a lot more friendly. There are no traffic jams, no hustle and bustle. I've lived in Tauri now for the past 10 years. This is Victoria Street, the old Pacific Highway. If you were headed north, to Brisbane or south to Sydney, you had to drive right through the middle of town. But then, some years ago, the Tare Bypass was built and the local council gave the old highway the beauty treatment and made it far more pedestrian friendly with gardens, seating and al fresco dining. Tauri is the commercial hub of the Manning Valley and does a pretty good job of servicing the area's 50,000 residents, with most things people take for granted these days. The word Tauri is Aboriginal for the local fig tree, some of which are a thousand years old. The figs are edible, but they taste bloody horrible. There's a population of about 2,000 indigenous people in Tari, known as the Birupai tribe. But the undisputed jewel in the crown is the Manning River, which flows through the Manning Valley, beginning as a small stream in the mountains to the west at Barrington Tops, and flowing into each of its two mouths, Old Bar and Harrington. This is one of the oldest houses in Tari. The original owners planted two pine trees out front. The mailing address was simply Twin Pines. Up until 1913, when Tari Railway Station was opened, the river was used by ships to bring mail and supplies to the region and also to take timber and other goods back down the coast to Sydney. These days, the river is mostly used for recreational purposes, but is also a large producer of Australian oysters. The big oyster, also known to locals, as the big mistake, was an unsuccessful attempt at promoting tourism and is now a car dealership. The Martin Bridge was opened in 1940. Prior to that, road traffic crossed the river by punt. 
Obviously, there was a lot less traffic in those days, and if you arrived before or after opening and closing times, you'd have a long wait ahead of you. Not too many motels back in those days. The main shopping area is very comprehensive, with many major stores represented, as well as dozens of specialist and boutique retailers. Entertainment is provided by clubs and pubs. As well as the entertainment centre and a cinema complex. There's also a modern aquatic centre. Here's an interesting reminder of days gone by. It was once a bank. This ancient bakery from the days when bread was delivered by horse and cart, now houses a museum. Nearby is the original Victorian-style post office. Another local novelty is Two Bob Community Radio, staffed by volunteers. There's a thriving industrial area, which includes Steber Craft, whose products are shipped to many parts of the world. Want to buy a car? No worries. No problem if you want to get married either, or attend Sunday services. One of the oldest surviving buildings in Tari is St Paul's Presbyterian Church, built in 1869. This is the old courthouse, built in 1897, and right next door is the new extension. If you wish to travel to Sydney or Brisbane, there are a number of options available apart from driving. So that's a quick overview of Tari. I'll be shooting footage of other towns in the area in the coming months and weeks. Next year, I hope to be travelling Australia. You can keep up to date with my adventures on AussieOdyssey.com. Come.